going? Okay, so here we are, September 11th, I'm backstage with Matano for their show. This is Byron Laurie. He's going to tell me a little bit about the look for today. Yes. Well, Iman Cosmetics is a corporate sponsor for Matano Spring 2013. And I think we have done an exceptional job in putting together a beauty look that complements these beautiful, beautiful spring clothes. The palette is very pastel, beautiful textures. And so what we did was the inspiration came from uh, summer and spring itself. Warm weather, cool water, and balmy skies. And so what we came up with was Afterglow, which we're utilizing on the eyes and cheeks. It's a great trio. It's slightly pearlized, gives the eyes and skin a beautiful, enhancing glow. You can use any of the colors individually or mix them. So on the eye, all of the models are wearing the, the peach and the fuchsia as a mix, so you get a really beautiful pinkish coral eye. And we have a highlight just under the brow from Iman's Eye Icon collection. Just under the brow. Just under the brow. We're using the lighter shades to give a little highlight. The brow is, ta is tailored, uh, very natural, and a flash of jet black mascara to make the eyes look intense and have definition. Also, a little bit of dark pencil just inside the eye. Afterglow again on the cheeks, but we're dusting it lightly over a little blush. So we're using the blush as the primary color for a, for a pop of color, and then Afterglow lightly dusted over it to give a, a light glow to the cheek area. And then the most beautiful range of wearable pink lipsticks for spray. This is Iman Pink. This is one of the shades. The other shade is called Fever, which is a dark, darker fuchsia shade. Love it. Okay. Now the Iman Pink is a, a special initiative that we're introducing in October. It's a tie-in for breast cancer screening, which is a program that Iman is instituting starting in October. So ladies, please, please, please support us and buy Iman Pink because all of the proceeds, or 20% of the proceeds, are going to go toward the organization. And so it's a great color for a great cause. Great. So tell me about, um, I want to know more about using, oftentimes you hear people say, don't use blush colors on your eyelid, you shouldn't do that. What do you say about that? Well, well they're just pigments, and what I love about Afterglow is it, it's not as heavy and as opaque as a blush. They're very sheer, so you can do a beautiful wash of color right over the eyelids, and it can just be sparkling and beautiful and natural. It's almost a snake poop because they're so sheer, you don't run the risk of it being too heavy or not knowing how to blend it. It's just a wash of color. Great. Thank you.